Hello everyone, this is Hugh. Um, I just got a couple of questions from Jacinda. Uh, thank you Jacinda for sending in some questions. Uh, the first one I'm going to answer is, um, she says, I would love to know how to change the background color. I'm not sure if it's the default, but mine is black on the outer edges. Okay, so I think I know what she means. Um, if we go to our website here, um, some installations of Atahualpa have a black faded border on the edge here and uh, this installation happens to have rounded corners uh, but I I can still show you how to uh, remove those black borders just in the okay so let's see let's start off on the in the dashboard okay so under appearance we're gonna go to Atahualpa theme options then click on style and configure layout once you clicked on that scroll down um, it's gonna have layout container style uh, towards the middle and then in this box there's gonna be a bunch of code um, that's usually where um, the uh, shadow or the dark edges are uh, designed here so what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of, let's see, let's get rid of uh, everything except for the background line. So we'll delete this and delete this. Okay, so we just want to leave the background in because that's going to leave this part white right here. So we want that to be white, but still main or still be able to change this background color here this gray and uh maintain the inside color so let's go down to save click on save changes the settings have been saved okay so let's go back to our website let's refresh okay there you go so excuse me as you can see um, if you have the black borders, the black borders would be gone. If you have the rounded corners, the rounded corners would be gone. But there is there's a slight issue here. Now there's no uh, uh, border or margin between the words and the edge of the the box. So let's go back into the theme options um, at the same place and let's put back in this padding. So under the example, there's this padding line here. So highlight that copy it come down here paste it and then save the changes again okay so the settings are saved so let's go back to the website click on refresh and there you go now you have some padding between the edge of this box and your words and your menu so if you want to increase that number or increase that space come back down here and then you can change this um, the padding number uh, let's try making that 15 pixels instead of 10 and see what happens okay settings are saved let's go back to the website refresh and there you go there's a slightly bigger di uh, space here so that looks pretty good. So if we want to change colors, um, let's scroll down and to change this inner color here, uh, we could we just have to change this background color here. Um, you can get the color codes anywhere on the internet. Uh, I have a link below this video on how to uh, how to get the colors, different colors. But let's. Uh, just for an example, let's do uh, black just to sh just to show you how this works. Okay, so let's go back to here. Let's refresh. Okay, there you go. So obviously you won't use that, but just as an illustration, that's how you changed that part um, of the theme. So let's switch that back. Okay, and then save. 
Okay, now if you want to change the background, let's refresh again. Now if you want to change the background, this gray part, we'll go into here and uh, go to body, text, and links. And this is where you're going to change the background color. So under body style, go down and there should be a background color. It's pretty similar to the other one. So let's, uh, that's the gray color. Let's change this to zeros again, just as an illustration. OK, save changes. We'll go back to the website. Refresh, and there you go. The back, the, uh, the background is now black. So, um, just in that, I hope the, that answered your question. Um, I'll get to your other questions in future videos. And if you want to see all the other video tutorials that I have, visit my blog at websiterockstars.com. Thanks for watching.